Hey guys, today we got a 1998 Honda Z. This is a 660 cc K car. It's got an automatic transmission and only 50,000 miles. It's in incredible shape. Door edges and everything are just clean as a whistle. It's in fantastic condition. Now you may notice there's not a motor under the hood. Nope, there's no motor up here. There's just your spare tire and a very handy storage box. This whole thing is a storage container. You can put anything you want in there. Up here is your impact zone, all your fluids, everything you might need to get in here is right in the front of the vehicle. Super easy to get to. The battery is located right there. Coolant is right there. Uh, washer fluid, brakes, everything's right here. Everything you might need to get to is all in this spot. Now, this is a mid-engine car. So this has a 660cc all-wheel drive engine. So this is all-wheel drive. Great for snow, great for sand, great for running around having a good time. Again, it is an automatic, so it's very, very easy to drive. There is plenty of room in here, and this is what's shocking, is I'm six foot one, I'm over 200 pounds. I have tons of headroom, and there's even enough room for us to go in this thing with the seats all the way back and still have people in the back seat. Take a look at that door jam. There is not a speck of rust anywhere on it. Look under that door. It is just beautiful. I love these Southern Japanese cars. We see no corrosion on them whatsoever. They're in perfect shape. Just really nice and really nicely maintained. Now back here, we've got the hatch area. We've got some cargo in here to show you what we can hold. Now remember, these do fold flat. You can see in the back that there's plenty of leg room back there for people, even when you have the seats in the tall guy position. Super fun for people, no problem. Okay, hatchback, uh, if you want to sit back there when it rains, the hatchback gives you a lot of shelter. Very, very fun. Very, very cool car. Super, super neat. And a great looking little car too. It's so fun. It's got that small SUV stance, that all wheel drive look. Very blocky. Looks kind of like a Lego car. It's really, really neat. All right, let's jump it in and take for a ride. Okay. Again, I'm tall, no problem getting into this car. As you can see, my legs have no problem in here. I'm sitting with the seat all the way back. I've even got it reclined. It's an automatic transmission, so uh, easy to drive for anybody. Power windows. Maybe I'll just go around them. They don't seem to be able. Now the AC in here will run you out. It is excellent. Uh, the AC is a 134 system, so it does run on the modern refrigerant, which is no problem, easy to get. Now, automatic transmission, this is foot on the floor. Shifts at 7,000. Now, I've had this up to about 120 kilometers per hour, which is over 75 miles per hour. It drives just fine, absolutely handles great. This does have the big 15 inch wheels, which is unusual. Most of the kite cars are, uh, have a smaller wheel. This doesn't, this has a nice big 15s on it. It handles really nicely at freeway speeds, no problem at all. Go ahead and kick the AC on. And what you're gonna notice is I kicked the AC on and it didn't make the engine sound like it was struggling. The car still runs absolutely fine with the AC on and the AC blowing. Now, uh, it does have a car with stereo, which is the uh, Japanese stereo, but it is set for American numbers. So you can run the American radio stations in here. You won't have to change the head unit. The car does have airbags, so it has airbag in the uh, steering wheel. It also has supplemental airbag restraint for the passenger. Uh, not the kind of thing you're used to seeing in a K car. Smash the pedal, get the downshift. That's 50 miles an hour. Like I said, it shifts right at 7,000. Has power mirrors. Uh, has quite a lot of features, actually. 
for being such a small car. Really fun, super load of, uh, load of fun to drive. If you have any other questions, get in touch with me, Phil, at Cleveland Moto, or you can get in touch with me at Cleveland Moto. Thanks, you guys. Ride fast and take chances.